You're listening to the Balanced Educator Podcast, episode number 163. Welcome to the Balanced Educator. We're your hosts, Kaylee and Josiane from EduCalm. Our intention is to equip and empower you to feel more calm, balanced, and joyful in all aspects of your life. Hello, hello, and welcome. We're so happy to have you here with us today. Today, I am doing a solo episode, a very to the point episode, where I am sharing with you a simple yet highly effective classroom idea to get your students ready for learning. So in this short and sweet episode... I'm going to share an excellent, easy-to-teach self-regulation strategy that will help you to create a calm, a respectful, and a focused classroom environment. So this teaching strategy won't take more than five minutes of your precious class time because I know how busy every single school day can be. However, We also know as teachers how important it is to get students into a state where they are ready for academics if we want them to learn. And so this strategy is a tried and true winner with students. You will leave this short and practical episode with everything you need to implement this class, this calm classroom activity right away. And I'll even share some extra free resources that you can download to make this activity even more seamless with your K-12 students. So stick around till the end and I will give you those links and you'll be good to go on your way. And before we get into today's topic, I am so excited to share with you this week's sponsor. Did you know that Canadian educators are highly sought after by top international schools worldwide? Teaching overseas is professionally rewarding and offers an amazing lifestyle rich with culture, social, and travel experiences. Search Associates is the world's largest recruiting agency representing over 800 top international schools in over 120 countries worldwide. Each year, they've helped over 3,000 teachers, counselors, librarians, and specialists secure great jobs in their carefully vetted K-12 international schools, where teachers like you can enjoy small class sizes, motivated students, and high academic standards in a supportive learning environment. Gary McPhee brings over 30 years of teaching and administrative experience in international schools to his role as a senior associate with SEARCH. He started his teaching career in Toronto in 1982 and ventured on his first overseas post in 1988. His international teaching career has taken him and his family to Singapore, Taiwan, Tanzania, Qatar, Canada, and China, first as a teacher, then principal, and international recruiter. He now shares his passion for international teaching with other adventurous educators. If you're interested in learning more on how to become an international educator, join Search Associates free Facebook group at Search Associates Canada and visit ca.searchassociates.com or email Gary at gmcfee at searchassociates.com. That's G. M-A-C-P-H-I-E at searchassociates.com. Check out this episode's show notes for the details. Register with Search Associates Canada and receive personalized advice and support throughout your international job search. Adventure awaits. Take the first step. Contact them today. All right, let's dive into this super practical episode all about a super useful calm down and focus activity for the classroom. So as you probably already know, here at EduCalm, we help K-12 classroom teachers and their students thrive in a well-managed, calm and focused learning environment. So our goal is to bring you social emotional learning activities from which both, emphasis on the both, you and your students will benefit. So no lesson prep, no professional development required. So everything is ready to go. And today... We're sharing with you one of these activities, and it is a mindfulness exercise, a really wonderful mindfulness exercise. It is truly a student favorite over and over again, 
Um, it's an activity called Your Calm Place. It's super simple yet highly effective to get your students to that amazing place where teaching and learning becomes fun, calm, and easy. Isn't and isn't that what we all strive for as teachers? So how it works is simply ask your students to close their eyes. And if you're not currently driving um, or in a place where you need to use your eyes, I highly encourage you to actually do this activity right now with me um, so that you get the full experience and you know kind of then how it'll be for your students. Okay, so again, ask your students to close your eyes and you close your eyes now. Ask them to imagine their calm place. So imagine your calm place. It can be anywhere at all. It can be inside or outside of their home or your home in this case. Wherever your students might feel calm and at peace. So I just, I'm going to give you a second to kind of think about your calm place. Imagine your calm place. And now we are going to imagine our calm place in lots of detail using our five senses. So imagine what your calm place looks like. So this is what you would tell your students and I want you to run through the exercise right now. So imagine what your calm place looks like. Then tell them to imagine what their calm place sounds like. Then tell them to imagine what their calm place smells like. So following along with the exercise, you take them a moment right now to imagine what your calm place smells like. Now imagine what your calm place feels like. And lastly, imagine what your calm place tastes like. So make sure that When you do this exercise with your students, so again, just to go over it quickly, you're going to ask them to close their eyes and to imagine their calm place and reminding them that it can be anywhere at all. It can be inside their home, outside, wherever they they know that they feel calm and at peace. So then you're going to ask them what their calm place looks like, sounds like, smells like, feels like, and tastes like, but make sure that you create a long pause between each of these um, things you're getting them to imagine so that they can really get into it. This will really help them to feel more calm because they're they're imagining themselves there. And Get creative, ask them any other question in relation to their calm place that you think of as well. So for example, with younger students, it could be helpful to actually give them examples. So in your calm place, are you indoors or outdoors? So like asking them questions like that. Um, You can also share what your own calm place looks like as an example. And another great thing to do is to get students to check in with themselves to see what emotions they feel when they think and they imagine themselves in their calm place. So just saying something simply like, notice how you feel, okay? So there's no magic recipe here. The idea is simply to really get your students into that calm place and yourself too, because then you'll be more effective in your teaching, right? So make them feel like they're actually there in their calm place. Now, 
At the end of this exercise, remind your students that they have the power to think of this place anytime they need it. So they can imagine it with their five senses anytime they need to find calm and focus. So this is a great strategy because this is one they can take with them in their future whenever they're feeling anxious or um, distracted or what whatever it is that they have this strategy in their toolbox And I've already said it, but I'll say it again, that this is really an awesome mindfulness exercise, not only for kids, but for you too. You have so much on your plate and you deserve a moment to relax and settle into your calm place too. So when you do this exercise, close your eyes with your students and imagine your calm place with them and enjoy the moment. Also, this will model for them, um, that this exercise is important for your well-being as well. Now, remember, we say this on the podcast, I think in every single episode, but repetition is key. So the more you practice the self-regulation strategy explicitly, the more students will use the strategy on their own to find calm and focus throughout the school day. So we recommend practicing every, practicing it, ooh, tongue twister, practicing it every day for at least one week. However, we encourage you to practice it even way longer than that so that students truly internalize this mindfulness activity and use it on their own. So use this visualization activity on repeat in the classroom whenever you start to see the energy rising in the classrooms. It's an easy, super easy strategy to implement quickly and efficiently in between lessons or even in the middle of a lesson if you're starting to see that energy kind of shift. So I've said it a million times before, I'll say it again. Routine and repetition is key here if we want students to actually internalize this strategy and use it in their own time to self-regulate as a coping strategy. Um, Repetition is key. Repetition is key. So this activity, like I, you have everything you need now to just go and do it. However, If you are looking for support materials for this activity or to help deepen the learning or even to just get into mindfulness a bit more, maybe you haven't done mindfulness with your students and you'd rather us introduce mindfulness to your students, we can absolutely do that for you. Um, In the Educom membership free trial, there's Uh, your Calm Place poster that you can put up in your classroom. There is a Your Calm Place um, mindful coloring sheet that you can um, print for your students as, and these are both for visual reminders, or maybe you put them in your calm corner if you have one. Um, There are also five mindfulness practices that are helpful for introducing mindfulness and to get students thinking about their calm place. And lastly, there is also a worksheet where students can represent their calm place. Um, You can get all of this and more at www.educalm.com forward slash free. Again, that's www.educalm.com. E-D-U-C-A-L-M-E slash free. Educalm is an evidence-based online social emotional learning program for K-12 classrooms that helps students take a systematic approach to meeting their well-being and academic goals. It's made by teachers. That's us, Kaylee and Josiane here. This is, I'm Josiane in case you didn't know. Um, made by teachers that truly understand the reality of the classroom. The Educom free trial gives you unlimited access to the first unit of the Castle Aligned Educom online program. And it gives it includes a super short step-by-step program implementation video and a month of no prep SEL for your K-12 classroom. It's like done for you lessons for a whole month and more. Like so good. Again, you can get it at www.educalm.com forward slash free. And if you're not feeling quite ready to sign up for the free trial for some reason, um, and I should say on that topic that just remember that it never expires. Um, So if you sign up now and you don't use it until a year from now, like you're you're still good for the free trial. Um, There's no like time limit on it. 
Um, but if you're not quite there yet and you kind of just want to dabble a little bit, you can also get the Your Complace um, poster in our free posters ebook. Um, so more, more specifically, it's a uh, no prep breathing exercise and mindfulness activities for the K to class. K to 12 classroom ebook and it includes eight beautiful posters for you and your students to enjoy and so that you can all remember to breathe when challenges arise. So to co-regulate with concrete mindful strategies and get ready for calm and focused learning and teaching, make your way to educalm.com. So that's E-D-U-C-A-L-M-E dot com slash welcome. And there are also lots of other Awesome free Educalm resources at educalm.com slash welcome. So I promised you a short and sweet episode. Here we are. It's the end. So your exit for today is to grab your free resources for this activity at educalm.com slash free. If you want to sign up for the free trial, the Your Calm Place poster is there or at educalm.com forward slash welcome. Uh, in the posters ebook, you'll also find the free poster. And try this super quick two to five minute activity out with your students. Repeat it a couple times. See where it goes. Oh, and uh, one thing I just realized I'm forgetting too is I just wanted to let you know that you can also find this activity and all of the resources that go with it also in French. So if you're a French or French immersion teacher, you're covered as well. Enjoy basking in your imaginary calm place. And if you enjoyed this episode and this super practical strategy, be sure to share it with a friend or a colleague that would get value from it too. Sharing is caring and we appreciate it so, so much when you share our podcast with your friends. So thanks for sharing this time with us. Have an awesome week. 